Hello everyone, welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download Modis Terra data from USGS Earth Explorer. So once you open your browser, just type in Earth Explorer and hit the button search. Now you can see the first result, Earth Explorer. Just click in. So in order to download any sort of data, we must create an account in Earth Explorer. So if you don't have an account, I have made a video for it. I will be putting it in the description as well as I will be putting it in the cards. You can just check it. So now we just uh, go to the login. Here put your username and password and come down. You can find the option sign in. Now just uh, coming back to the video. So let me put my uh, place over here. So I am just uh, looking for Chennai. I am going to download the data for Chennai. So I have just uh, typed in Chennai and I hit the button show. Now you can find the option Chennai over here. Just click it. It will be automatically updated in the map. So once you have done it, you can find on the bottom search from. You can specify the dates over here. So I am going to select from January 1st to September last. So I am going to need this uh, data for this uh, date range. Now we are going to go to the next option data sets. Hit the button data sets and come down. You can find the option NASA LPD WA C collections now hit the button now just click on the plus uh, symbol and come down you can find uh, more modis land surface reflectance version 6.1 once again click on the plus button uh, you can sign uh, you can see a lot of uh, products are available here we are going to use modis mod 09 ga v6.1 so select this data and hit the button result okay so we must also have have an account in earth the data so you need to create an account in uh, earth data so which is uh, given by the nasa so just click ok so now we just uh, go back to the modis data so here currently we are downloading the modis terra data which is uh, for uh, land uh, related uh, analysis modis terra data is being given and it is available in 200 uh, it is uh, available in three resolution 250 meter 500 meter and one kilometer so first two bands you can check in the first two bands is being given in 250 meter resolution and uh, band 3 to band uh, 7 it is being given in 500 meter resolution and from band 8 up to band 36 it has been given in a uh, one kilometer resolution so you can see the primary use from ocean atmospheric uh, water vapor uh, surface and cloud temperature atmospheric temperature cirrus clouds water vapor ozone cloud properties likewise a uh, lot a uh, lot of analysis can be done based on the bands so here we are going to download the bands 1 to band 7 and it is being given in a 500 meter resolution now we just go back to the earth explorer so after selecting the data hit the button results so now you can see over here so it has been uh, giving me uh, some uh, results over here and I would like to have the images without clouds so let me hit the button next to find out a cloud through image so you can see over here this is having cloud cover but uh, the region which I am interested in doesn't have any cloud over here so uh, let me check the image as you can see over here the cloud coverage is not that much in the uh, the region which I am interested in so let me check it uh, hit the button metadata show metadata and browse so once you have hit it, you can uh, find the image on the top. You can just click on this image so that you can view the image. It 
it is not like uh, the landsat images where you get uh, get to know how the image looks like this is not uh, like that so yeah i think i i have found an image so i have uh, found an image and uh, i'm going to hit the button download so once i have done it so you can see it has been given in a hdf format which you can uh, use it in qgis as well as you can uh, use it in rgis now it is asking me for the login credentials so we need to create an account in earth data or nasa so i have already created an account in here so hit the button sign in now the, da the data will be automatically starting to download as you can see on the top the data has been started to download so let me wait for a few seconds to complete the process so you can see here the image uh, the uh, image has been downloaded successfully let me show you to you in the folder and this is the image which has been given in hdf format now i do have on uh, details where you can find uh, band 1 is red band 2 is nir 3 is blue 4 is green 5 is nir and 6 and 7 is swir so i am going to uh, add these bands and i am going to uh, do a layer stacking using these bands so you can see uh, for a normal visualization we can use a red that is a band 1 band 4 and band 3 so let me do that in QJS. Getting out to QJS. Now let me add the data. So these are the raster files. So I'm just uh, selecting the raster. And now hit the button browse. Now you can see this is the downloaded data. Hit the button open. And uh, hit the button add. So once you hit the button add, you can see uh, a lot of products has been downloaded with the image. So just come down. You can find the uh, images this is the first band band number one 500 meter resolution i'm going to add this band on once so we are going to and uh, manually add it one by one so previously i have uh, added band one now i'm going to add a uh, band four over here because uh, band four is a uh, green i think so band four is green yes now let me add that and uh, finally let me add the band three image So as you can see over here, I have added three bands. So these are the three bands from the modis data. So just for visualization, I am just showing showing you. Here you can see it is not uh, properly uh, shown. So click on the unknown CRS and specify the coordinate reference system. Now I am going to click the zone which I am uh, which the data belongs to and now I am going to go to the option raster and come down to the option miscellaneous and hit the button build visual raster and now in the input layers we have already added the layers so we just have to select the, uh, select the button select all and hit the button ok and uh, finally we are going to enable this place uh, each input files into separate bands and hit the button run so I'm just closing it so because the process has been completed so you can see the image over here I'm just going to the option properties you can just check it metadata So likewise you can uh, download the modis data and uh, you can use it for your analysis. I'm just showing you the properties of this uh, modis image. So on the top you can find the option information. Here let me sh uh, show you the um, resolution. So it is a 500 meter resolution. 
so you can also download the modis data and perform the analysis thanks for watching Terra special if you are having any doubts please do ask in the comment section goodbye everyone